Hey, what's up guys? It's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a Canadian National Snowplow. So this is a wedge-type snowplow that you can put in the front of your train. So here I have a Canadian National GP38-2. I have two of them, and I have not actually seen this uh, in a video, like in operation. So this is what I'm guessing what happens, and I did see a lot of pictures of this by itself, though. Or like a locomotive, but it doesn't have the CN livery. Um, but I hope you guys like the design and let's get started. So the first thing we do we take um, nether brick slabs and I sort of have like this like the tracks are covered in snow so I just have five block wide um, nether brick slab behind it is five block wide uh, red concrete then for the next one is going to be black concrete eight blocks along the side so one well this is black wool Okay, so it's black wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same thing on the other side. I thought I was using black concrete, but I guess I'm wrong. Then I'm gonna have upside down another brick stairs like this. And on the inner part, it's gonna be a bogey. So on the inside, add gray concrete wheels. And then two back to back upside down uh, stone brick stairs like this. And the back pair of wheels with a stone bun on the sides of it. In the middle, we're going to have uh, another brick slab on the inside. And there is a coupling here that's going to be raised up, so add that like that. And for this side, there's a coupling in the front, so just add another brick slab like that. And acacia wood slab. And add more acacia on the sides. In the middle, uh, red concrete sides, add some more red concrete, go in a diagonal like this. And yeah, the middle part it appears to be red concrete like that. One in the middle, and some more acacia slabs and acacia wood stairs inside. All right, so this back section, uh, let me add some more. Uh, black wool so that's gonna be like a 2x3 behind this red so looks like that probably the same thing on both sides fill in that little hole right there then we're gonna add black wool all the way to the back wheel so add a row like that and the other side the back section we're gonna have like a 2x3 of red concrete then add black stained glass paint in the middle on top and red concrete around it like so then we're gonna have this um, these words right here so add white concrete right here then two quartz blocks on top the other side will be two white concrete staggering up so add it like that and then we're going to have a Minecraft ladder that's going to be three blocks tall on the side. And there is no black wool, so just add that column like so, so that we can place our Minecraft ladders. And then we're going to add a red banner on the back of the uh, black wool like this. Add a trap door up there. And what else? So the very top is going to be block wool. And that's going to have to connect all the way to the front. So just go extend it until we reach like um, two blocks away from that red. So that this area will be free for uh, the acacia wood stairs. We could have them, two of them. And one on top of the other. And then red concrete a two by three in the middle of that and the top section will be like a triangular shape like this I think and then acacia wood stairs on the tips of all of them and then acacia uh, slabs in the front of all of them and there is actually that's about it so now for the top part of the plow, we're going to have um, another brick slab, five blocks across. And it's going to extend all the way back 
to the top of that acacia wood stairs, like so. All right, so now we can add um, some more red concrete inside here. So there's two inside. And then, yeah, I guess that's about it. And now we can add in uh, the cab. So that's going to be two blocks, stained glass blocks on the sides. And then two red wool, or red concrete rather, the glass on the inside, and red concrete. Um, two of them on the middle and then acacia stairs on the sides of it and acacia slabs on the very edge also add in I think it might be a twin light or a whistle or horn I don't remember so just open up that birch fence gate like that and add an iron trap door on this side there will also be a row of nether brick slabs on the back of this then we'll add uh, black wool, fill in the rest of the roof. Then work a bit down here so there will be a doorway. So let me add the flooring first. So let me do that. Like so. Now we can add in our doorway. So just um, go to the back and make sure you have like a one by two hole for the door. Well, there is no door, it's like kind of open. And then we're gonna have um, oak wood uh, fence gate, open that up, like so. And an iron bar right next to it, like diagonally up. So now it's, since it's like right next to each other, they're gonna connect. That's a little bit annoying. So um, then we will add uh, this tiny little hole, it is on both sides, so that's right behind the logo or the writing. So that's going to be a backwards facing nether brick stairs. Then I'm going to add black wool to the rest of it. And just fill in these the rest of these gaps. Alright, cool. So now we can work on this top section, so uh, two, <laughs> what is this called? Cobblestone walls on top of each other, and then another brick slab, and then next to it is two iron bars on top of each other. And then there will be another column right here, so there's a gap of two, so skip two blocks and add it. It should be in the middle. Then we're going to add string in between them. Uh, make sure you have enough to hold up the gray uh, wool carpet on top. And that just goes from the cab to the back. And I have no idea what that is even for. So, I don't know. It could be some kind of wire. I guess that's about it on how to build the Canadian National uh wedge snow plow in minecraft i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do please hit that like button down below and subscribe if you had already because i will be uploading more videos like this in the future and i will see you guys next time bye